Today I'm going to show you how to repair a belt drive washing machine that's not spinning anymore. So let's get it going. This one, the belt was on the bottom of the machine. Some of them you'll find at the back, some on the side, some at the front. This particular repair was on a newer GE washing machine. And what had happened is the bolts that hold the motor in place had come loose so that the whole deal had slid forward. Now you can see how I'm able to pull it back here and that puts the proper tension on the bolt. So all I gotta do is pull it back and retighten the bolts one on either side to hold the motor in place. Now this is also how you would replace the belt if the belt broke or again if, if it uh, had slid out of place and the belt was too loose, you could loosen the bolts pull it back, tighten the bolt down, you're good to go. Now different machines use a slightly different methods. Some of them have two bolts, one belts, for the transmission and one for the pulley, and you may have to adjust the tension uh, on each one so that it works out properly. Uh, others like dryers have an idle tension pulley that you pull the little spring kind of forward and rotate the belt through the loop. You can check my video on how to replace a dryer belt uh, for, for that that shows that a little bit more um, but anyway this is how I was able to fix this one pull the motor back tighten down the bolts one on either side we're good to go washing machine spinning again all set